Guys, Crewman here, and I just bought an entire mining farm. So, long story short, I had a buddy who's been mining for quite a while, and uh, he got out of it a while ago, but I just was curious. I was like, what do you have left? And he's like, 1660 supers, 2060s, uh, a bunch of cape old PCs that I use for nodes. And I thought, well, maybe there's some good CPUs I could use for mining. Turns out he didn't have the CPUs that I wanted, but he had everything else. So I basically got four cases uh, with either B450s or B550s in them with like at least 32 gigs of RAM. And he's basically full systems minus the CPUs. I got my old 1660 Super Mining Ring back. I sold this to him, I don't know, two years ago at the height of the bull run. Um, I haven't seen this baby in a long time. I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to get it back mining. Right here, some more of them. I don't know why they're on this. Um, I got some random parts, a 1080, just because I wanted one for content. 10 2060s. Uh, you know, he gave me a deal that was too good to pass up on these babies. So there's 10 of them, some single fan, some dual fan. Uh, I'm going to, you know, it's it's a lot of good stuff. I'm, I'm really excited for it. Uh, we're going to get, we're going to sell some of it. We're going to keep some of it uh, and we're going to get some of it up. So let's, uh, let's just go over it all one at a time and uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So first we have my old, an original 12 card 1660 super rig back when I used to call myself Mr. 1660 super. That was a long time ago. Times have changed since then. Um, I basically built this rig and sold it to this guy and I think he converted it into uh, a four card rig and a seven card or an eight card rig. I'm not sure why I did it, but I I'm gonna put them all 12 back on here because I know this motherboard can run with 12. Um, you know, I, I remember hunting for these on Best Buy, leaving the refresh button on and you just going nuts when you pull one, two, three or four of these things. I think I paid like, oh God, I wanna say close to $300 per 1660 Super. And I, I, you know, I sold this thing for definitely for a profit at the height of the bull run. And when I bought it back, it's crazy, but we valued this whole thing, I think at like 500 bucks. Now, we did that because he is a very busy man and doesn't have time for, you know, for dealing with hardware. And he definitely made his money on this thing during the during the market. So it was just basically sitting in a warehouse and he wasn't using it. So I was like, all right, I'll take it back. Mining on them. I know I've told people not to mine with them in the past, but, you know, I, I always had the caveat, it depends how much you get them for. And basically, considering I got this whole rig for the price of a 4070, all 12 of these cards and everything on it, it's kind of hard to not mine on it. I, I probably will until it's not profitable or not worth it. I might spec mine on it. I don't know. Uh, and then maybe I'll just sell it at the height of the next bull run, which could be soon or maybe not. Um, I wanted to acquire hardware before the end of the year. Uh, because you know, I I want I didn't want to make too much of a profit this year, and I wanted to acquire now before everything got expensive. And this deal was too good to pass up. So we're gonna clean this up in a future video, and we're gonna get this up and running again. Um, how long I keep it, I don't know. Now I don't want you to go out there and just go buy 1660 supers unless you can get them for a really really good deal. They are very very efficient, but I do not think it's worth chasing the dragon on these things. I just want to state that, you know, I basically have told you guys not to buy old hardware and here I am. But when you get it for the price that I got it for, you know, you really, really can't go wrong with it. The next thing I got is four PCs. Um, this one is essentially, uh, I don't know what he was doing with these. I think these were old flux nodes, but I mean, he valued these at almost nothing. And it's great because they have, this one has 16 gigs of RAM, a 1630 or a 630 in it, which, I mean, it'll just be another uh, display GPU. Uh, an RM550X, um, it's like a B520 or an A520 motherboard. But the point is, is I've been planning on building a virtual machine PC for quite a while, and I've told anybody who would listen, you need to do that. It's funny, I just hunted down some spare parts, and I might be sending some of them back to Amazon Warehouse, actually. This PC is perfect. All I have to do, I'm probably going to swap this power supply out, and put it towards something better and take a little bit of a worse power supply and put it in here. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just use it exactly as is. I'm going to put my 3400G in it. And this is going to be my VM machine. I'll have more on this later. These next two PCs are perfect. They are dropping and ready for CPU mining. They've got B450s, 32 gigs of RAM, which I might end up swapping out to 16 gigs. I don't know. And they each have like a 650 watt power supply. So essentially what I'm going to do is 
as I get 3,900Xs, I will drop them in each of these, and they use no space, so I can basically stack them on top of each other. These thermal take cases are really nice. So they're just CPU mining rigs. Same with this one, as this sucker has 64 gigs of RAM, some really crappy power supply, a one terabyte NVMe, which I will strip from this, and a RAM, uh, Fantex case and a B550 motherboard. So I will probably strip some of the RAM out of this too, or maybe I'll use it as a basis of a vast AI machine. I don't know. The point is, these are these three computers with no CPUs, along with um, along with some other parts that came in, which I'll probably show you at the end of this video, or maybe another one. Uh, basically, give me three drop-in and ready CPU mining rigs. They cost essentially nothing in this deal I got. And this one will be the basis of my virtual machine. So I was really excited to pick these up. He didn't want to part these out. He just wanted the CPUs. They were all like, I think they were like, Two twenty, uh, 3200Gs or 3400Gs, a 57, no, two 5600Gs, a 5700G, and some random one in here. I was like, yeah, just sell them. And he's like, sounds good to me. So I took everything else, and these are going to be a fantastic basis for cheap additions to my CPU mining farm, guys. Remember, if you can get good deals, you get them. The, you know, essentially, I'll be getting CPU mining rigs full blown with all the parts for three two under 250 bucks at this point we're talking 3900 x's as well you cannot beat these prices so that's why i jumped on them and finally the rest of it <laughs> 1200 guys you cannot beat this i had to jump on this it was like a deal i haven't had a good deal like this in, in a long time so you jump on it i got an 850 watt power supply i got him to toss in a uh, rise and rate spire he didn't need for another cpu mining rig down the road he had a 1080 mining rig he had some that were water cooled and i like to have GPUs for testing and whatever. And I actually don't have a 10 series GPU that I can use to test with. I've got a 1070 in a rig uh, on my work PC, but I don't really want to pull it out because I use it for display. So I told him to toss a 1080 in and he said, take one. So I did to have for testing. And then 10, 16 or 2060s. None of them are supers and they range from, you know, EVGA twin fan to an EVGA single fan to a... Dell, I guess. He said he just hodgepodge these with the height of the mining. Boom. Another 1080 that I opened. This one, without opening it, is the same thing. So I end up with a bunch of EVGA ones. Single fan ones, which I know everybody likes for smaller builds. MSI twin fan. An Asus twin fan. They look all, they, look, they all look like 6 gigs. Uh, gigabyte, that's a 6 gig. And another gigabyte i'm trying to see if there's six or twelve uh yeah they're all six gigs it looks like and then an evga this one's cool let me show you this one one of the older models this is a 2060 as well so in total we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten 2060s i don't know what i'm gonna do with these i might honestly just sell them and recoup my money. I don't really like 2060s. I don't like mining with them. Um, I'll probably keep one for testing purposes because, you know, I like to build up my GPU collection of ones that just sit in my shed. But you really can't beat getting all of these parts and all of this for 1200 bucks. Basically, I got uh, four PCs, uh, five, well, four PCs, a bunch of mining parts, some power supplies, and 24 graphics cards for 1200 bucks. So I'm really excited. This is going to generate a ton of content. I really hope you guys join me as we do all of this. Uh, I'm going to, I'm again, I'm trying to do a video per day. Red Panda Mining is a great inspiration. He, I talked to him for a little bit and he said the key is a video a day. So I'm really going to try to crank out quality content, not just fillers. Not that anybody does that and there's nothing wrong with it, but that's what I'm going to try to do. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I've got a ton of interesting ideas and videos coming up. Please like and subscribe. Mr. 1660 Super's back, baby. Crew man, out.